Hello, uh, my name is Christina, and I'm going to be sharing a dream uh, that I had uh, the morning of the 16th, May 16, 2018, uh, yesterday morning, and um, it's about idols. Um, the reason um, this is an, an answer to a, a question, uh, or I asked uh, God to show me uh, what um, idol worship what true idol worship was um, and um, kind of how he felt about it and so he gave this to me in a dream I actually I prayed that the night of the 15th so I got the dream that night um, the morning of the 16th uh, early morning and it starts off with a young girl I have my notes here so I don't uh, leave anything out and um, starts out with a young girl and she's in line uh, waiting to get a picture taken and I guess autograph and everything like that um, uh, taken with a singer a famous singer um, that um, she wants to uh, uh, can't wait for she's excited for it and she she wants her signature and a picture with her um, I'm not gonna say who the singer was um, it's a famous singer um, anyway so she's in line to take uh, to get these pictures and she's bouncing back and forth on her feet you know just really happy and anxious to be there and hurry up and get to the front of the line so she can get her picture taken and um, then it switches to a, a, a different uh, scene it shows a man laying in bed uh, or sitting with his back against the headboard um, in a bed and then there's a young girl climbing out of the bed and he just uh, smiles as she gets out of bed like I don't know it's just kind of a creepy smile um, anyway and then it switches back it's it was a different girl it wasn't the same girl um, then it switches back to the young girl waiting in line again um, and um, as she's, you know, she's asking to see the pictures of, you know, everybody that walks by her that's taken already taken the picture. And she looks at the pictures, you know, that they took and like, oh, so excited. But then she started noticing something on the face of the singer in the picture. Uh, there's markings on, on the face. And she's like, there's something wrong with the pictures. Um, th the singer has markings on her face but when she looks at the singer like looks at her there's nothing on her face it's just you know her makeup and she's like oh. um she can't figure it out you know because she's you know it's in many pictures all the pictures that she's looking at and um so she's like oh so and she must have been a, she must be an artist because she takes out all of a sudden she has a canvas and she's painting she's actually drawing and painting the singer you know I don't know how <laughs> this goes but you know she uh, is drawing the picture and but when she finishes the painting um, um, the the makeup or the paint scrapes off where the markings on the person is in the in the other pictures but she didn't draw them she you know she just painted how she saw them. but the the paint just kind of like like somebody went and scraped them off like you know where the where the markings were and she couldn't figure it out and so she's like she didn't know what to think she was like confused and so she's like, she has to hide the painting because, you know, she's getting closer in line and she figures if the singer sees this picture with her markings and ugly face, she's going to be mad at her. She's, you know, be angry that she drew these markings on her face, which she hadn't drawn. It just, they just kind of, the paints would just like, looks like somebody just, just scraped it like, and she could actually see it being scraped off and the markings appearing on her and um, so she's trying to hide the picture and then the man in that previous scene with that young girl getting out of bed he walks up to her and he 
holds, he, he grabs the picture and he looks at it and he looks at the girl and then he just looks at the picture again. Like, like it's a normal picture. He did, you know, I don't know if he sees it or not, or he sees the markings or not, but it's obvious to her that he can see the markings, but he doesn't say anything. And, um, so, um, she goes, um, and she gets up to the singer, um, and, um, she, uh, gets her picture taken, and again, you know, seeing her, um, uh, she, uh, again, the, now she can see the, the, the markings, because she knows you're there. She doesn't know how she knows, she just knows the markings are there under the makeup of the singer and so even though she looks at her and sees her clear you know like smooth face she knows the markers there markings are there so she sees the markings on her face and uh so she just goes and she's kind of freaked out a little bit now like you know nervous and doesn't know what to do doesn't know what the markings mean and um, so she just kind of wants, now she just kind of wants to hurry up and get it over with, you know, get the picture taken over with. And, um, and so uh, when she gets her picture taken with the singer, it looks normal. And she's like, doesn't know what that means either it's like because all the other pictures were showing the markings but now her picture is not showing the markings but when she looks at the singer she can see the markings like on her face now it's kind of like reverse now that she's right up there with her um so she just kind of wants to get away um and um So now she got, you know, kind of backing away. She got, she got her picture taken already. So she just nice wants to get out of there now. And so she's kind of walking away and looking back as she goes. And then she sees the man with her painting walking up to the singer and showing her the picture and, uh, or the, the painting that the young girl had did. And the singer just kind of smiles and touches the, 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 the painting with her finger, you know, kind of where the markings were, you know, because it's obvious on the picture. And um, she just kind of, almost she's touching it, like, almost like, oh, like lovingly, like, oh, she, you know, like. You know, with a smile on her face. Not not a smirk or anything, just kind of like a loving smile. I, I don't know how... To me, it just looked creepy, but she's not, like, angry or anything. Um, so she go. you know, she's looking at the picture. She touches it, and she's smiling. And then uh, I guess the man had said something to her because um, she looks up, and then she's looking around, and then she sees the young girl, the young girl that had drawn this. And um, and then the young girl's really afraid. She's like, oh, she's going to be really mad. And so she's just trying to hide um, from view. Um, and then the man comes to her to bring her. She wants to bring her back. He wants to bring her back to the singer. But the young girl doesn't want to go. And she's like, no, she doesn't want to go. Um, so the singer comes looking for her. And... Um, She's just trying to hide from her. She just knows whatever it is, it isn't good. Um, but she doesn't know what to do um, on there. So uh, that was the dream. And um, after that came to me that, or was put in my heart that we idolize everything. Everything is, is an idol. Every singer is an idol to somebody every actor is a singer is a is an idol to somebody um you know cars clothes shoes some people are just obsessed with but 
they idolize, oh look this perfect shoe just perfect shoe you know everything is idolized like everything is idolized um, you know your family you know who has a picture of maybe a beloved family member that has died and they kind of cherish that picture that picture isn't the person but they cherish the picture and maybe they talk to the picture could that be prayer um, so a lot of this stuff came to me and um, you know it's just many people worship different things many things um, on there so you kind of uh, ask yourself you know to me where I think worship is what he's saying is anything that you put before him you know so like who did you first say good morning to this morning who did you first say um, I love you to this morning was it God was it or was it your spouse or your boyfriend your girlfriend or your puppy you know I have puppies they like to climb on me first thing in the morning as soon as I move so who is the first person that you talk to in the morning should be God but many of us will put other people or other things first you know um, so or what is that an item or a person that you think oh man I can't live without this this is you know the bomb um, so many people put many things uh, before God so anything that you would put before God is an idol and he and if you you know hang on that person's every word you just adore them need to be around them sounds like worship which is what we should be doing with God God first in everything he should have your first good morning he should have your first I love you in the morning he should have your first thank you in the morning because he woke you up he gave you breath for the for that day or for that moment um, in this day so um, there's many different um, uh, like I said types of worship or idolizing you know or worshiping of idols you know it's not just a statue that you other people perceive that we pray to or that we worship this idol um, it's you know it can be that because some people do you know that and I'm not saying there's not people that do that because I'm sure there are you know um, and um, so you, everybody has to ask themselves who or what do you idolize before God every day and everybody does it every day you know so unless you're you know a really great person in Christ because uh, there are many of those also and they you know go to sleep thinking of Christ and wake up thinking of Christ and I've gotten better at that you know I'm still practicing that um, I'm not perfect and uh, but I do you know as I'm going to sleep you know I'm saying good night to uh, to God thanking him for the day and in the morning you know first thing soon as my before my even eyes before my eyes even open you know I'm good morning Lord you know thanks for giving me another breath to this day and then you know I talk to him from then on for a bit before I get up so anyway but I'm still practicing that so because I'm not saying there's not nights that I don't go to bed and and kind of a little too tired for to talk but you know I at least say a prayer you know I'm practicing and I'm trying to get better at that and, um, uh, I, I still could do much much more better but um, anyway so that's something to think about before a lot of people like I said they they point out Catholics they idolize 
you know, you need to get out of there. Uh, you need to change. Um, Y'all worship idols. I do not worship idols. I do not. Do we have pictures? Yes. Um, do some people have statues? Yes, but doesn't mean they idolize them. Um, statues were used um, as it's more of a kind of like a you know how when you look at a you're teaching children and you have a picture book of the Bible and you're you're reading it to them and the pictures go along with the stories. That's what the statues are in the churches. They go along with the the word. You know, um, it doesn't mean we pray to them, we bow to them, we worship them. No, it just means you know it, it's going along with the Bible. The, the different, the different uh, chapters in the Bible of, uh, about different uh, stories. Um, so anyway, uh, those are that, that's just something that he gave me last night that I wanted to share and um or uh the morning of the 16th sorry it's really late tonight i'm thinking it's still today but it's already tomorrow um all right well i hope this helps somebody and um y'all have a blessed night remember jesus loves you loves you 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 um god bless y'all i hope this touches somebody um, or explains a little bit to somebody what idol worship is. Um, anything that you put before God, before Jesus Christ, before our God, is worshiping, is idolizing. And in another, I'll just add this on. Um, in another video, I had put that, and he had he had taught me a little bit about this. Um, of letting go of my daughter because I was placing her above him and um, I had to let go of her and say God first God is good whatever he decides I'm okay with you can probably uh, go back and watch that video of mine um, but anything you choose before God is an idol it's you're loving that person or that thing more than our God. So, okay, y'all have a great night. And again, Jesus loves you. Uh, God bless you. And I hope, hope you have a blessed night.